My name's Duncan Petty. I've been a member here since 1974, and at the moment I'm the vice captain. Well, uh, when I, I joined the golf club, the junior fees were three pounds seventy-five a year, and the gents' fees were thirty pound a year. So it was very affordable, and we had an old wooden clubhouse. And in that clubhouse, there was a veranda on the front, and that's where the juniors were allowed to sit. You weren't allowed in the clubhouse. Um, a Mars bar was three pence and a Coca-Cola was three pence so that tells you how long ago that was and the club has then since developed this new clubhouse that was built started to be built in 1976 and it's been various add-ons over the years but now we have uh, a cracking clubhouse with great staff. Golf has changed in the respect that it's uh, more open where it used to be very fuddy-duddy and uh, juniors in particular weren't, weren't exactly encouraged to play golf, although it'd be very popular. But since then, golf's become more open-minded for all sexes, all ages, and uh, and for the better. So it's more enjoyable, um, and we really like to encourage families to join, mums, dads, kids, play together. Well, I started here in 1977 as an apprentice greenkeeper, and. Uh, moved on to various clubs and a few years ago um, I had an inkling as I was getting older to put something back into the club that gave me my golfing career and my greenkeeping career. So um, I volunteered for the vice captaincy that was accepted and it's something I'm really looking forward to when I do become the club captain because uh, my dad was the captain in 1977 and will be the first father and son to have captained the club. Well, we have our club manager, David Knapp, who's also a professional. And David is putting together plans for course development and for teaching, a teaching academy. So we're putting together that, the now hopefully we'll be able to find the funding and put that together. That will enable us to encourage the kids from the village to come up. In fact, encourage everybody from the village to come up and uh, play golf. Um, we've got fantastic wildlife on the golf course, squirrels, bird of prey, and um, some beavers up at the Donald's Dam, uh, pheasants, there's all sorts there, so it's not just a walk, you can also see what's round about, and once you get past the third, you really are into the countryside, there's no roads, no houses, and you've got the golf course to yourself, and it's a beautiful views at the top of the hill up the fourth valley. So it's a, a pleasant golf course and a challenge to play as well. Um, and that just adds to the enjoyment. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> well, the club was established in 1902. And originally it was a nine-hole golf course with uh, five holes over where Blackadder Castle is. It then moved over and developed into the 18-hole golf course. And it's been an integral part of the village since then and hopefully we'll continue to do so. Um, as I say, uh, we've produced over the years some fantastic golfers who have went on to represent Scotland uh, and Great Britain, um, turned pro, and it's, so from a, a wee club in a small village, we've punched well, well above our, our weight, but it's something that we're very proud of. <laughs>